one lure. That's all I've got. One lure to do a lot of things. Back. Back. Something a little bit different in this video. I'm not gonna be chasing, well I am gonna be chasing big fish, but not as big as normal. I'm actually gonna be chasing a fish that most of you know me for. So I think the last time I chased bass was Hens Dam, pretty sure. So this is gonna be a little bit different to your normal bass fishing video. So I'm going to Somerset Dam, so I'm actually targeting big fish, but so I have this lure to do some photos for work and I thought what better way than to test it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to take this one lure to Somerset for the whole day. No other lures, no other spoons, no other nothing. So I've only ever done something like this once before and that was the first time I ever wanted to learn how to use spoons. I only took spoons to Somerset because I'd never fished with them before. And I knew if I took other baits, I would change to something else so that I could catch a fish. So I taught myself how to catch bass on spoons by only taking spoons. So this particular spoon is already one of my go-tos in shape and size. So this is a wide and, and spoons are not really a simple lure. You can't just have one spoon and catch fish on it all day because there's spoons for winding slow, there's spoons for winding fast, there's spoons for fishing a certain depth of water, there's spoons for fishing through a column of fish, there's spoons for fishing up through a column of fish, then there's spoons for targeting fish that are sitting hard on the bottom end. This being a, a, a wide spoon will cover a few things. It'll be good for the fall, it'll be good for at like a lifting retrieve, it'll be pretty good. Being 40 grams, it won't be too bad for tracking close to the bottom. Being But being a wide lure will also make it lift. So I think I should be able to get away with three sort of scenarios, maybe four, just sticking with this one lure. So let's have a look at it. I really do like the color. So this is a new color, which is why I have it for photos. So it's a wide, slow black cast, 40 grams. What I did like is this, UV up here. So let's put a UV light on it and see what it does. Hey, well look at that. That is cool. Nothing on the back, but look at those bands. Now that is, that is a sneaky little trick. I really like that. Alright, uh, let's rig it up. So I put new 12 pound ADV on. Gonna run 12 pound litre, which seems stupidly light after rigging up COD stuff for three months. How about when you get your line to match your reel? Look at that. Turquoise blue. That is going to catch fish. So I rigged this up as well. This is, I rarely won't run these standard hooks. I think it affects the action. You can get a lot more out of it by changing to a smaller hook. So I whip these old ones off. So I'm going to upgrade with these. New rings. And I run M hooks on the top of the lure. And S on the tail. So the reason for the different size of hooks, you got to think about when you get weed on your lure or slime on your lure or whatever, any tiny bit of extra drag on the tail of the hook affects the action, on the tail of the lure affects the action. So I want to have a strong hook, like the Twin Dancer Heavy, on the tail for when the fish nip at it, but I want to have the smallest hook and the smallest line possible on the tail of that hook so I don't affect the action of the lure. Look at that now, much sexier. A lot of hooks, super sticky hooks. That thing is gonna get eaten. So there are a couple of positives about only having one lure. I'm rigged, <laughs> the lure's done, and uh, I'm ready to go. 
at Somerset Dam armed with one lure, one rod. Very, very restrictive to be able to just catch catch any fish in Somerset on one lure is gonna be gonna be a challenge. One lure, that's all I've got. One lure to do a lot of things. Back. Back. <clears throat> he was hooked in the mouth for a second. And so you've got... That sounds bad. You've got like all this rolling hard country and then you've just got... Okay, we'll go out there again. Yeah. Remember he says to try and throw the exact opposite way. Did you watch him with that? Throw to that boat and then where did he throw? Out there. That's because I wanted to follow the same contour as I sent him on. What is that a wide is it? Yeah. In a 40? Yeah. <laughs> Who was nice. that? Bear. Oh. I got the YouTube. Oh, this is a good going. one. Oh sorry. <laughs> Number two already. Is it live? No, not yet. I can't do it live, you're fucking talking about BCF, you're talking about all your secret spots for GTs. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah you get, shut the fuck up. He would have given away. That's disgusting. <laughs> Number three. Carl's working. Need more than a breeze, need a shovel. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> That. It's a chunk. There's a mic there though. Come here, buddy. As soon as I, don't, I stopped fishing, look, I took the fucking lure off. And I the just lost it and got another one. <laughs> there, 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 there. They, when I cut what, over those top ones, yeah, there they Oh, I lost it again. Oh, serious? Yeah. Nah, I got it back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Damn. Them's big. They are big. They are perfectly positioned. For a wide 40. Pretty like that though, because you use a big shark shark. Jesus. Okay. Hang on a second. <laughs> Check out this chunk. First proper big one on the new colour. Magic one. It's working. Look at that thing. So fancy, buddy. Be gone. 
only got that one fish out of them and then they shut down on us basically all together so we'll go find somewhere else we got an hour and 20 before sunset. They had all the GoPro set up, had to unplug it because for some reason it stopped working. So the morning started off pretty good, I can't remember how many we caught, we caught a fair few and then uh, we had the lull for the majority of the rest of the morning up until that last 50 plus that I just caught and uh, I thought the GoPro was running, haven't been paying any attention to it because I haven't been catching any fish. Looked at it and it was all locked up. Another spot, the spot we caught them, the spot we saw them at lunch before lunch, but didn't catch any. Well, we could, well, Mark caught one while we were getting lunch, but for what we saw, we should have caught a lot more, so we'll see. Chaos going on over there. Birds everywhere. This cup just right up to 30. What's going on, mate? Oh, I just ran the fuel again. Turn that key for me. Hang on. This one? Yeah. There you go, it's going. No, it's, no, not. it's not. How many times have you run out of fuel with me in this boat now? Ah, uh, none. Bullshit. Ah, uh, three. This is the third time. How big is your fuel tank? Ah, uh, 300 litres. Yeah. Well, that's one way to guarantee you don't catch any more fish. Run out of fuel so you can't get to your next spot. A few little scratch marks there. Chew marks. Not bad. A few on the bottom there. Pretty good all in all. This is still magic. Well, I have to say, um, if I come into a lake with only one lure and being restricted to one colour and one size and one shape, that wasn't too bad. Maybe, how many fish do you reckon we caught all up? 20 something. Yeah, 20 something all up. I might have caught 12 maybe, if that. But we got a 50 each, so it makes it worth it. Well, time to get home. So, one lure worked, but I'd be much happier with three lures in that one color. Um, that's a really good color. I'm actually impressed with that color. So if I had a, a 20, oval in that color and a 30 slim i reckon i could catch them in here almost in any any circumstances starting route to home well guys thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed making it if you want to find out what i'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis just jump on any one of my other social media pages don't forget to subscribe. I'm constantly putting up a couple of videos a week now to keep you guys entertained. Otherwise, this has been Dean Sylvester, fishing my way.